experience like being in schools that were strictly segregated according to race, you know, in those early years and then the latter years of junior high and high school going to integrated schools? How were relationships between black and white students? Well, uh, they had uh, they had an idea of all blacks were going to be in trades and this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, I have done a lot of work and it's uh, not that I'm opposed to trades, but the idea that I led my class and uh, spent a great deal of time studying, and uh, we were good students. One of the outstanding people who was uh, one of your classmates, who I've heard uh, people talk about before, is a gentleman who was already inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame, the uh, legendary coach of uh, North Carolina, of UNC Chapel Hill, Dean Smith. Yeah, Dean Smith was a, I was a, a senior when Dean was a junior. And Dean was a, a giant in helping to integrate basketball at North Carolina. And uh, Dean was trying to integrate Topeka High School that was segregated. I was the Topeka High School Rambler, and I led her three years. The Ramblers were the, uh, the all-black black team. And the the all-black team. It seems odd to me that, you know, in, in Topeka, high schools integrated except for athletics. No, it was except, and, for, except basketball. for basketball. Yeah. So I, that seems odd to me again. They didn't like the basketball competition? No, or no, what's follow the, the money. Okay. It, it made sense that. economically to segregate the basketball teams. Oh. They had a plethora of basketballs. We had two. And we would have to polish one for the game ball. So separate is never separate and equal. No, yeah, it's just separate that. and unequal. Well, how did you feel when you learned about the Brown versus Board of Education decision? What, what did you anticipate? What was the word on the street at the time? Well, we felt there were good times ahead, but uh, we would hope for the best and fear for the worst. And uh, segregation is a is a monstrous thing, and the only way to understand it is to be a part of it. Wow. Um, do you believe we've lost any steam in terms of progress and race relations in the country since well, the decision? Well, the thing about it is this. A, a lot of our young people are not aware of the rich history that we have, and and I'm, a, I'm depressed with the idea that young folks do not understand black history now. And the one thing that the blacks schools taught was black history. I mean, I would just add, I, I, I want people to know uh, when they get a chance to listen to, you know, these living history books like Mr. Ridley, uh, and they think about why this particular case was important. You know, it ended up being the most consequential uh, desegregation case that we've ever had in this country. Okay. And you got to be a part of it. And that's what I hope people remember. I bless the stars for having had the opportunity. <laughs> I really do. Thank you for doing this with me. Um, I thank you for your leadership and the example you paint for uh, young men like me and for my children. Thank I you. can't remember when I was 34 years old. <laughs> but you've been a blessing.